Uh, my name is Oma Lava for all those that wanna know Got a YouTube stepping insta that I named the Omo Show Where I clearly spit the flow, show you around the life I chose So at me if you wanna see how far the story goes Peace family, welcome to the Omo Show I'm Omo, the Afrocentric creatrice Here to raise the vibrations of the entire black nation And for those who are just tuning in this week or last week or whenever you've come This week is going to be really, really dedicated to getting a foundation, a basis of knowledge and information so that as I move forward with my channel, everyone is aware of the same things and I'm not moving and people are like, wait, what, what? I don't get it. Like, why is she, why is she doing that? You know, that kind of thing. For those who've been rocking with me for a minute or for those who know this information already, you can stay or you can go watch some more of my videos, but either way, I think you should stay on my channel. Okay. Okay, so because today is Monday, I'm going to do a video for Melanin Monday, as I usually do. And today I want to talk about what I believe to be the answer to the black problem or what I believe we should be setting our minds towards in order to keep moving forward. Three main things. Number one, being a Pan-African. Some people know what this means and some people don't. But for those who don't know... um, some famous Pan-Africans that we had was Stokely Carmichael, Kwame Ture, which is what his African name is, uh, W.E.B. Du Bois. Um, they were both really, really famous Pan-Africanists who, at least for me, inspired my entire journey by moving to Africa, by marrying Afri- like an African woman, which is what um, Stokely Carmichael did, by marrying an African woman. He was bridging the Americas with Africa. You understand? So basically to be a Pan-African, Pan meaning many, African meaning African, many Africans. So it's the idea that there are many Africans living all over the world, all over the globe, um, which there are in Haiti, Bahamas, Jamaica, Virgin Islands, um, England, uh, Cuba, Puerto Rico, we could keep going. And it's just, it's, it's basically to say that you see all of these people as being a part of the same diaspora, the same experiences, and the same bloodline as you. And you becoming family or seeing yourself as a part of this whole family that has bridged and has marked territory across the entire nation. And it's the idea that we need to unite over being African people even diasporic African people in order for us to be strong in our numbers, but also strong in our presence and our power as we move forward within the countries that we reside and just in life in general. That's that. Number two, black nationalism. Um, This ideology is just black people having their own nation black people doing everything for themselves by themselves black people owning their own businesses black people owning their own schools black people owning their own knowledge black people literally owning everything and working within the context of each other and that's it um as far as economic um power goes you know um it would be to say like if we were to take the whole self as i mentioned in one of my previous videos and we make that dedicated to black people because given that black people uh built the entire self to be what it is today logically we should have that land right I, you know i would think so so it was like if we were to all decide to move to the south and build our own nation in that land so that's what black nationalism is um so for me that idea is really really just based on the fact that we need to get our economics together not only come here in the hearts and in the mind as an african people but we need to come there in our economics and our businesses um making sure that we're able to survive regardless of what's going on on the outside of our community you understand so that's the second thing moving on to the third it really has to do with the second as i said about the second thing about black nationalism is about controlling your own education And I really just believe that at this point, as we move forward, we as African people need to be focused on rewriting our history, writing our history down, because the reason that we are in the situation that we're in today is because our history was not recorded in the ways that it should have been. And that's for many, many reasons. And that's all for another video. But the bottom line is that if we're going to 
reinvent our story to make us empowered to make us see ourselves for the queens and kings and gods and goddesses that we are then we need to actually write that story there's no way that anybody else writing your story is going to see you in the biased positive light that you should see yourself so it is super super important for us to redefine our education to educate ourselves with an African lens instead of keep putting this American lens on everything that we learn in school and everything that we choose to learn in life and politics and all those things. So those are the three things. So pan-Africanism, see yourself as being united or a part of an entire African people that has now branched across the entire world because I'm telling you, we all are African, and I'll do another video on that. Because I've already done a video on that, but the blood running through my veins is African blood, majority. So, you're an African. If you're watching this video and you are black, most likely you are an African too. Because majority of your blood is African blood. Anyway... Um, second point, black nationalism, gaining our funds, supporting black businesses, but not only supporting black businesses, but actually just compartment, uh, compartmentalizing black businesses into one space, uh, concentrating ourselves into one space. That's really the word I was looking for. Concentrating ourselves into one space and being able to build together and make it a stronger unit. Third thing is just rewriting this history, telling it from the people who are actually experiencing it, telling it from a lens that does not look like the victim because I promise you, we are so much powerful than we ever could imagine. The minute that we learn that is the minute that our entire lives and existence change. So let's start working on that history, y'all. Let's start working on just loving our brothers and sisters across the entire globe. Let's start working on educating ourselves on those things. And let's just keep building and keep growing and keep living, evolving, doing all that we need to do to be our best self. I love you so much. Peace, love, black power all day, every day. Ain't no other way. Hey. Okay. <laughs>